G'day there, Emil from the Performance by Design System with a video today called The Ever-Evolving Expectations of Leaders. If you're a leader watching this video, you may be feeling tired, frustrated, lonely, and feeling you're getting a little recognition. This is the challenge of leadership, as well as responsibility for client success. You might not even be client-facing, but you will still feel that you are responsible for their happiness. It's a challenging job, leadership. That's why we, we want you to take it seriously and, and commit to, to some of the stuff that we talk about here. Now, the other part is expectations. There's a lot of conflict, awkwardness, discomfort when our expectations are here, but our reality is here. This gap and the, the antidote for that gap is conversations. But we want to talk a bit today about expectations, not only from yourself, which we often are quite, we, we challenge ourselves often a lot, don't we? But from the team. So this came up to me recently because I've, I've been reading a fantastic book called Mastering Leadership from the Leadership Circle curriculum, if you will, 35 years of research and data out of the States looking at leaders, and they have a fantastic assessment tool that allows um, that all the patterns from great leaders so that you can have a look at where you are against you know, the world's best, if you will, from these thousands of pieces of data. The book talks a fair bit about um, the leadership promises and the promise of leadership and these outcomes or these expectations rather around your role as a leader. Some are explicit, some you hear them from the team. And, and recently we had an exercise with a particular team six months ago, we did an expectations exercise. And I was so happy to see that this particular leader had fulfilled on the expectations and got a massive, I've got another promotion as a result. But there's these hidden, implicit, unspoken expectations, hard to generate, but they are expected. Am I treated, am I treated fairly? Am I ideas used? There's all these things that you might not be hearing from your team, but the data shows that they're there and play an impact on your ability to be the best leader you can be for the people that you serve as a leader. So let's have a look at this, this idea of the promise of leadership. The book talks about the leader's role being understanding what people expect of you, manage those expectations, but then develop into the person that can perform against them. But the data is pretty clear that leaders rarely understand this. The numbers don't add up. So what we're talking about here today is your growth as a leader matters. The growth of your company, team, organization will be reliant on your ability to grow as an individual leader. A lot of leaders we work with will call us up and they're looking externally for us to fix their, their team. We say, look at yourself first, get yourself right, because it's, it's about role modeling leadership, okay? And the data and the research show that when leaders try to transform business results, they usually need to do most of the changing themselves. We would 100% agree with that. So let's have a look at some PBD recommendations. Commit to scheduled leadership training, even if you simply set up a no distraction schedule in your, in your weekly rhythms and just read for 20 to 30 minutes. Start small and build that habit. Get a coach or a mentor. Coaches are more performance driven on focus on skill development and accountability where mentors are more development driven. They're more been there, done that, okay? They'll use their experience to provide context and recommendations and elicit feedback from your team. I mean, this is the real gold of our work. If you can build that psychological safety to understand what the team really needs from you, you'll go a long way to really understanding what their expectations of you so you can meet them, okay? Finally, a great quote from the great man, Warren Buffett, the best investment you can make is an investment in yourself. The more you learn, the more you earn. Please take your leadership development seriously because the expectations on you as a leader inside of your team are ever-evolving.